Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. As you already might see, hair dryer means I'm gonna do another touch pour. I really like that and specifically if you have some little drops of rest paint, that's something you can always do. It is a little trickier than it looks. It never turns out uh, quite like I would like it to, but if you really want to know how it works, there is a longer video on why it is called Dutch pour and how it works step by step and why. So have a look at that. Um, so I have metallics because what can go wrong with green, blue, gold and silver? That's something I always keep going back to. I don't know, it's my favorite color combination. And I mean, what's yours? Isn't that what most of the people come up with? So I'm going to use those. Uh, I'm going to put a base of white. Keep in mind for a Dutch pour, the colors, um, uh, the paint is relatively thin that you can blow it around. You also get different results with hair dryer blow volume. So yeah, if it doesn't turn out how you like it, it could also simply be the strength of the hair dryer. I don't really have a good advice because I don't really know what this one actually is, but just give it a try. Okay, so I also gonna do something a little different that normally you have one one puddle. I think I'm gonna do two and I hope that's gonna work out fine. I did that just now with black and white. I had a bit of problem that I had too much paint in the middle. I hope to avoid that by a, a longer canvas. This canvas is a part of a triptychon. I think you call it something like that. So it's longer and narrow, so I really like the format. So I broke up the triple canvas pack and now we're just going to go. All of this paint is just mixed with one tablespoon of Floetrol for the bigger ones here, just some drops. Because um, there is a lot of different recipes in the web, basically, um, that developed over time. But just to be, um, this is per personal preference. If you just really look at the purpose of pouring medium, it's uh, to hold the pigment connection together and therefore you can actually use much less than a lot of people use. So there is some myth around uh, the perfect recipe that developed over time. Like I said, it works and people have good results and personal preferences. But if you want to really understand how fluid art works, how what uh, what pouring medium does, what uh, is in paint basically, like binders and additives, how cells come up and all these kind of things, please go to the basic um, playlist and there's all kinds of background information, even even summarized in an, like an audiobook. So I'm just going to torch the air bubbles away and change my gloves. The blue and the silver, which is a little bit too thin, is rests of the extreme sheen. With you, that uh, you create this uh, floating pearl cells. There's also a, a video on on that on my channel. The video, unfortunately, the quality is a little bit bad, but I, I think you can get the idea. That's really so cool to do, and I'm gonna give it some more tries, and hopefully show you some better videos then.
you shouldn't use too many too much paint like you can see now I still have leftovers from that little tiny bitty uh, you can also see the consistency what does different consistency you can already see the freckles something like that it goes and moves here look at that into the paint and that's something different consistency does You see what the paint does? All these little hair lines coming out, that's something you can do with consistency. It's also a really cool effect. It's probably a little bit too much paint. Okay, now let's go for the blow dryer. So tell me something, where did all my blue go? There's, I was expecting that there is a dominance of blue, which didn't happen. So now it's a green painting. So now I'm almost gonna faint. Huh? Uh, but it always has a little bit a better effect to additionally blow on it and just using the hair dryer because you can also just say okay i want to blow uh, more white into it because it was too much of a big blob you can say i blow one specific color out like i had a tiny bit of blue here so of course i i blew that out what's here and uh yeah i think it's cool need to see how it dries because then eventually the metallic is gonna come out some more I see that the blue is really beautiful so if it would come out it gives an extreme extra sparkle that's why it's called extreme sheen probably and uh, let me just torch it I could try to add a little bit bloop of, of, of uh, for example, blue again and then blow it out again, but it also dries partially on the top, so I think that is not a good idea.
Okay, so I torched it and a little air bubbles popped, but yeah, there was no silicone. I always think that doesn't really belong in there. But this extreme sheen is so fantastic. Let me just show you. I don't know, I think you can't really see it, but it's like a glitter layer on it. So it's very cool. Of course, now I realize that um, yellow and blue together make green. So basically the gold and the blue together made all this green. That's why I have so much green. But I think I really like it. It's kind of fascinating, I think. Okay, what do you think? I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get more notifications when I upload a video. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope to see you back soon.